Here I am back with another breakout box. This breakout box is called Employable Me. Um, it has a Minions theme because I utilized a Minions themed bulletin board that I used for my class, um, kind of demonstrating what we talked about in class. So if you are looking at the planning sheet, um, it goes through what this is appropriate for, size groups. Um, the story does make a reference to minions. And then there's the, in, the answers to all the different locks, the steps to setting up the program. Um, and then some more information. There are links right here to um, the clue cards that I made and the recipe that I use for my students. And then again, the worksheet that walks you through how everything is set up, okay? So, when my students start the game, they were given three clues for me, a recipe and two clue cards, as well as two hint cards. Um, the recipe is the solution to the four digit lock. And if my students used the black light, they would see that the word noodles was boxed and the first digit was six. They would see that the word Water has a box in the first digit is in the second digit is five green onions was boxed out and three was the fourth third digit and Then garlic cloves was boxed out with two being the fourth digit So six five three two is the solution to the four digit lock the Next clue my students were given asked how much do you make if you are a summer camp counselor with board and lodging I printed off a minimum wage worksheet from our Department of Workforce Development and posted it in my classroom in a really obvious place. Still took some, some time to find it, but they would come over here and read the worksheet for camp counselors, board and lodging, and minors would be 210 a week. So 210 is the solution to the three digit lock. The three digit lock opened the small box and inside was this clue. Um, this rhyme or riddle is asking them to identify the difference between generic and brand names. Um, and brand, B-R-A-N-D, is the solution to the alpha lock, the five letter alpha lock. Um, the other clue my students were given is a riddle about where to find the key lock. I had, like I said, this Minions poster in the back of my room, and the Minions were color-coded with a pocket that actually functioned, and inside their pocket, once they solved the riddle, inside their pocket was a clue and the key. So, the key lock, obviously, opens that one, and they have a clue, um, leading them to the final lock, which is our directional lock. Their directional lock should lead them over to our classroom board that talks about the nine employability skills. And then they would interpret the different clues to work their way through the grid on the wall. So the solution was up, attendance was the first clue, left, which would be literacy skills, down, which is critical thinking, right, which was teamwork, and back up to time management. And that would have opened the final lock, which is the directional lock. I will be sure to put a picture of the Minions poster in the clues for you on the, workout sh on the worksheet so that you know what my students were looking at. I hope this helps you set up your own game and any questions hopefully can be answered by the worksheet from the breakout box.